video on again. This is Velvet Bottom everyone. There used to be a railway track that ran along here by the way to pick up all the slag or bring the slag here. So there's lots of history like I said I've mentioned it on other videos. I'm just doing a visual recording as I'm going along in this heat. It is actually quite hot now. Oh, look at those lovely little flowers again. Aren't they gorgeous? All these flowers really are pretty, like little pixie flowers, I call them. Little pixie bells, or fairy bells even. Oh, I tell you what, when that breeze comes, it's fantastic. I'm just standing here letting the breeze get me a minute. Say goodbye to the big old tree. The grand old tree, old maple I think that is. Of course you can't let animals graze down here because the lead, see? Oh, what's that? Little camera holder. Child. Yeah, when the, when the sun goes in, it's good actually. It's quite hot today. Like I said, it's very deceiving when I was walking earlier because I had the cold wind right on my face. Um, it's probably protected me as well. Like I said, was, this is a, where the railway line came. Yeah. Full of history, this place. Good place to do ambushes if you're in the army cadets. <sighs> Good place for a map and compass. All sorts of things, to be quite honest. <sighs> right, now, dinner tonight. I've got some sort of prawn curry type thing tonight, I think. I can't remember its proper name. Oh. I do, if I go out, I do cheat and we'll buy a, a quick meal. Mind you, I much prefer to be out here doing this and sat in my flat, in my box. <sighs> Definitely. So um, here we go, folks, weaving in and out of these mounds, these slag heaps. <sighs> Once a hive of activity here. Not pretty like it is now. It would have been black. And it would have had chimneys and black and all the men were co coated in soot um, you know and, and noise it was a completely different scene here you can't imagine it can you being out in the middle of nowhere in the Somerset countryside that there would have been all that activity out here but there was it's hard to think you now of course it is all of our eras they have to rely on photographs or videos like I'm doing now of this place could this place change again look how beautiful it is though natural habitats looks like the way people have tried to climb there yeah and even these are pretty they've got like a pink tinge to them these you see this? It's like a mixture of the lavender colour and the white. Some of them have got a mixture. They're very pretty as well. There's lots of colour. And then you've got these other little tiny flowers. That, and there's, oh, that was a blue. There's a meadow blue there. Oh, you've got these lovely little tiny, tiny little like flowers. Aren't they pretty? Do you know what I mean? And there's little fairy bells there. And the ground is so soft here. 
it's like it's like velvet. And they call it velvet bottom. It just feels like that. It doesn't obviously if you walk on that bit it'll hurt your feet. But love it, it's very spongy. Yeah, I've never walked on the other side, but I've got a feeling you're not encouraged to, and I, and I think there are cows up there sometimes. I've never tried it. I'd have to be in the mood to do that. Oh, years ago, I would have had to have done it. I think I did do a bit of it once. Yeah, I think I did, actually. Then I ran out of track. Yeah, no, God, years ago, I mean, God, I was ultra fit, you know. I mean... Uh, I would be, I'd never be able to walk with slow, for example. This would be hand hurt of. I don't forget I would have been about three or four stone lighter, at least. Right, over and out for a minute. Right, over and start it up again. Oh, there's someone else coming now. Hold on a minute. Right, back on again. I think the heat takes people by surprise sometimes, all of us, because we get like such extremes of weather in, in a couple of days. You know, you could have a force gale wind tomorrow and pouring rain. It really is difficult knowing what to wear, what to do. Your body can't acclimatize. One minute it's hot, then it's cold. I've just seen two people go past me. I've turned the video off, of course, but they look absolutely baking. And they had a small bottle of water between them. And they look absolutely baking. Then there was a teenage boy with his mother sat. He looked like really, like a teenager grumpy look. <laughs> it is interesting. Of course, there's an awful lot of people not going abroad this year because of the COVID and all the quarantine restrictions and difficulties with inoculation passports and all this sort of thing. Um, there's a lot more people, in fact the majority of people aren't going abroad, they're staying in, in our own country. They're exploring their own country. And uh, I just zoom into those lovely flowers. Purple haze. Pretty, aren't they? And they say on Snowden there's a there's a big problem. So many people are walking in this country and they're going visiting Snowden, which I visited in about 1975, I think it was, and climbed up it with a load of Germans and 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 uh, English people. We went, we were students and done it. Um, and it was in the cold weather. We went in the summer. But apparently there's so many people not going walking abroad that the mountain looked like it was overrun with people everywhere. It was unbelievable, really, the scenes that they showed. People queuing to climb up on it. It was absolutely amazing. They showed it on the news last night. It really was amazing. And I spoke to a farmer yesterday as well on another walk who said he was having trouble, but he said there's so many people walking in, especially last summer, he said, um, he had to close off one of his pathways because they were trying to get into the field where his cows and calves were. And um, he said he'd never seen anything like it in his life. And they weren't just coming in twos. He said sometimes there's 20 people walking <sighs> at a time. So it did, we were, everyone was encouraged to get out and walk. I mean, I noticed it over Sam Bay. I'd never seen anything like it over there myself. Really was such a dress. Well, not drastic, this is what happens. <sighs> then there are people who say, oh, well, we've done all that was boring. We ain't going on that walk again. What's that there? Is that an animal? Let me just zoom in. Oh no. From a distance it looked like a shape of a deer or something. Camera's getting very hot. 
I've got to watch the battery with these, you know, they can bloody explode. I'm just trying to video as much as I can of the walk this way. Um, even though it's been done before. Oh, lots of people picnic here. Um, well, I've, I've, often, I've put it this way, I've often seen people picnic here. I mean, there's bushes if you need, you know, nature and all that. Um, and and it offers a bit of shade. Longwood won't be far away now. Or, no, or Black Rock. Long, Longwood's just over the hill there. Um, I won't be going in it, of course. Bypassing it completely. Right, turning off again. That's it, folks. That's Velvet Bottom. Coming to the end now. Over there, it's Longwood. If I walk up there, I'll be back on the track going up towards the Piney Slides. New battery. Another battery. So just saying, this is the end of Velvet Bottom now. And just down there, we get through a gate. Just around the corner, you go to Longwood, where I entered earlier, but from a different direction. Coming down the Long Sheep Field today, because there's time. Because there's time. I'm going to go a lot along to Black Rock and up the other side and then go off. I'm not going to go walk in where you can see from the top of the gorge or anything. No, I always seem to fall if I do that route. I'm going to go down across a stile up the top and down through some fields and uh, an another little area I like walking. It's quite a nice peaceful little walk at the end. There's another way up through there. I came down through there a couple of months ago after skirting Longwood because Longwood's there. <coughs> right, just back on again. I just swallowed a crumb. Yeah, I came down through there skirting. That skirts Longwood there. So, this is what's called Black Rock here now. So what I've done today, I've came from Cheddar, through Piney Slates Farm, went through the wood, over the other side, right up onto the aerials, and right round. Now if I want to do the nature trail further on another time up the top there, I won't do all that massive circle. <clears throat> That'll be a, another walk that I will do probably this year, so that I do do the nature trail. But it will mean walking up there again. <laughs> so here we are, signs for Velvet Bottom Nature Reserve. And then through our little gate here. <coughs> I'm making it wider for people to get in now because everyone's grown in society. We're all overweight. We eat too much. And then if you go up there, that's Longwood. That would take you just where I was earlier today, walking up through that beautiful overgrown area. And this, this takes us to the quarry at Black Rock. This takes to the quarry. There's various walks around that I do, but sometimes they're full of cows, so I don't do them in, in the summer. There's Black Rock, see? This has been known to have cows in it, by the way. Um, yeah, this has been known to have cows in it. In the past. <clears throat> it's also known to have water rushing down it as well, down off the hills here. It doesn't seem possible, does it? But it, ha it has been like a river here. And all the debris gets washed down to Cheddar. If you got the top of the path up the top there, there's a path that takes you across the fields, skirting Piney Slates Farm 
and down to Cheddar, where the cows were earlier that I spoke about. But today we've got time to do a nice... <clears throat> we've got a hill to climb, it's true. A bumpy, it's a very bumpy track, but there are some little diversions on grass that I will use on the way up. Um, we'll start be meeting a lot more people once we get down here. <clears throat> There'll be a lot more people out. It is still the summer holidays, so there's children home. Let's continue off now. 